What's in here? Ah, hmm. Yeah. Cats. I love them. And I brought some of my cat toys along. Well, some more. We'll see what's in here, first of all. Oh, goodness, one of these balls, yes. You put that in a paper bag and the cat has to run around after it having fun. Well, I better just see if I can turn it off, first of all. Cats love things which have motion. This one has a lot of motion to it without thing twirling around. It's beautiful. There we are. Quite a strong little battery inside. And for cats, that's just wonderful. It's got lots of fur and things the cats can run after. So cat toys to entertain cats, as well as cat toys to play with for, for children to get used to cats. Here's a charming one which came out about 30 or 40 years ago by Amtoys. It's one of the early Transformers. Made a soft plush so very small children can play with it. And it's a Transformer. It goes from a kitten, a little pink kitten, to a little blue puppy. Isn't that sweet? So at earlier children's parties I did 40 years ago, one small six-year-old said, oh, I get it, mister. Woof, meow, woof, meow, woof, woof, meow, meow. That's charming, isn't it? Lovely idea, very inventive. Made by Amtoys and a little, little sweetie. This, yes, these glasses are a brilliant idea. Very, very nice bit of design, that. And ordinary sunglasses, but turning into a cat like that is a superb bit of design, I think. So a clever one, that. So here's a, a typical ballpoint pen with a cat in it, but it's quite a nice action, this one. Look at this. When you push this down to make the ballpoint come out, the cat paw gives you a stroke or it's pushing you away. Or I don't know what it's doing, really, but it's um, certainly playing and having a bit of fun. And the other end, the ballpoint comes out and then goes back again. That's a very nice little design, that one. And uh, Sekiguchi made a m number of wonderful wind-up toys. This is, uh, this is Garfield, you know, who's supposed to be bashing away with his tail on a on a boxing ball there, and then his hands, well, they don't move much anymore, but in the early days, his eyes moved back. Oh, you see, the eyes are still moving too as well. So Sekiguchi, a little wind-up. They made beautiful wind-ups over the years, back in the 1980s. So that's a, that's a really precious one, that. Sometimes you can find domesticated cats. So this is a lovely idea of a highly domesticated cat. He's a wind-up. So just turn it up and see what happens. Very helpful, isn't this? Yep, reaching the floor of your house. Isn't that sweet? What a nice idea. <laughs> Here's one that Rufus Butler Seller, who I stay with in Boston every now and then, made ooh, quite a few years ago. It's called the Kinetic Card. And as you move this, you get some wonderful movements of the cat, leaping forward like this, or going backwards as well, too. But it's more fun forward. There's about five pictures hidden behind those thick black lines, and one picture appears in turn, one to five, in between, you get these five different movements actually of the cat, giving almost a, a very, almost a very, very fluid movement of superb of a black cat leaping through the air. Beautifully done, superb. Here's a mad toy which I picked up way back in 1977, battery operated American toy, Tom and Jerry. Extraordinary, still got the old price labels on it. It's missing a wheel here, but look at the action, quite extraordinary. Oh, oh. It's not going backwards now, it's going, whoa, it's going forward, whoa, oh, what a noise, ooh, mad. Hard to control it. Well, for small kids, that's just heaven. It's such a wonderful thing to play with and very robust because it's so large, of course. The old D batteries as well, which is a long way back. So you've got to look after the battery-operated ones, a bit easier perhaps for the wind-ups. This is an example of a charming wind-up toy which I got all those years ago. It's seen better days, but it's given a lot of fun to a lot of kids. Wind it up and see what happens. Isn't that clever? The way it's bashing that little butterfly on the spring. Extraordinary idea. And it's doing a little bit of hopping action as well. Absolutely charming in a little wind-up method. So that was a, a real beauty to find, I think. Other wind-ups are more sophisticated, like for the series of, of Hello Kitties. And here's a nice tie-up between the Dakara eggs and the Hello Kitty figures. So when you close it and open it, you get some action there. This is a little scene in the garden with, you've got a watering can and he's watering the flowers. And someone in the background doing something else with flowers. But they're all in this Hello Kitty series. And there's a whole series of them. I think about seven, I've got about 50 of these eggs in my collection, Dakara eggs. But at least five or six of them are Hello Kitty ones, which is nice. Here's a nice example of cat soap. Extraordinary idea, this. Anyway, you take it out, it's supposed to do something else, but the main fun about it is when you're using the soap, at the end of it all, you've got a little grey plastic mouse in the very centre, which is suddenly revealed itself as you're using up the last of the soap. And so it's a nice idea for cat soap. I do like things like that. 
And here's a very nice idea for entertaining your cat. It's a glove you put on like this. And then on the end, you've got a whole lot of little mouse. Look at this. Mad. What fun though. Uh, leaping about like that. Extraordinary idea, isn't it? For cats, that's just heaven. <laughs> they do say there's a nice difference, isn't there, between people who have dogs and people who have cats. Dogs, they say, have masters, while cats, they say, have um, staff. Preferably well-trained staff, but me, well, I'm a, I'm a puppet master, so you'll have to pay attention to that as well, you know. And lastly, here's a lovely idea. It's a, it's a strength tester. You're supposed to be able to lift this up off the table because it's got a spring to it. And as you try to lift it up because it's a strength tester, it goes, oop, yeah, yes, caught by my own petard. It's got a little squirter in it, and you pull it, you get a jet of water coming out from it due to the clever mechanism. Nice one, that's a nice practical joke to play on people. Cats, I love them. Do you? <laughs>